Hey friend, wait up. I've been trying to catch up with you. Now I know, listen, I know that you're not in the mood right now. I've been hearing the rumors. I've witnessed the stares of disdain when you walk by. And I know what it feels like to swallow that. Your stomach only has so much room. So I came to get you some fresh air. Well, it's really not a matter of you wanting the air. Right now, you need it. And there's no way that I'm going to let you be here alone. Besides, you hid long enough. Just take my hand and let me lead the way. No, it's fine. What you're wearing right now is fine. We're just going to go on a little hike. I want to show you something. After that, I promise I'll bring you right back. By the way... I've brought some really close friends of mine with me. Right, I already know that you're not in the mood to be around anyone right now, but they're not just any old body. Please just come out and take a look at them. There you go. Just one step at a time. I promise you, they come in love and support, and they have no judgment for you. In fact, they've been there so many times for so many people in your exact same situation. Allow me to introduce you to my amazing friends. The first one standing straight ahead, well, his name is Michael. I can honestly say I feel so safe and strong when he is near. Now, to the right of him is my dear friend Gabriel. There has always been something about Gabriel that has made me feel like God would know my hurt if Gabriel knew it. And last but not least is my dear friend Raphael. It's always been a pleasure to travel with him. And any time that I do, it feels like we naturally avoid danger. The rest of the team out there, well, they're just family who want to support you. I know it can be overwhelming at first, but if you look around, I'm sure you'll feel nothing but warmth and support here. Is that a smile adorning that beautiful face? Okay, you can take it away and I won't mention that I saw it. So before we take off, I wanna give you two things. Here, put these on. What are they, you ask? They're a special kind of shoes for this special kind of journey. What size are you again? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go ahead and put them on. Great. They look awesome. What's that? You've never seen shoes like this before. Oh, really? So why do you suppose they light up on your feet? No, they didn't come like that. I guess they're just made for you. Okay, so there is one, just one more thing right here. Turn around, friend. What's that, you ask? It's just a backpack for our journey. Here, put this on. Yeah, you're right, it is heavy. No, it doesn't weigh a ton, silly, but it sure can feel that way. Let's get going, shall we? Do you smell that? What is it, you ask? It's the smell of a bonfire near a campsite. We're, we still have quite a bit of a journey before we get there, but we're making awesome time. What? Are you really trying to drop your backpack already? Yeah, I know it's heavy, but it's yours. How about you open it up, take one thing out of it that you don't need, and leave it here? Oh, okay. So you're sure that you need everything inside of it? Cool. Let's keep going. Did you hear that? Sounds like the birds are singing to us, and we're getting closer. We just have a few steep hills to climb. Hey friend, take a deep breath and get ready for the home stretch. We're almost there. Let's go. Oh, 
Okay, we're at the last hill, and it's by far steeper than all of the others combined. <sighs> Is there anything in that backpack that you like to leave behind? Sure, you can open it. Go ahead. Why are there blocks in your backpack, you ask? Well, that's what you've been carrying around with you. Your guilt, your anxiety, your depression, and your heartache. And that's how it feels mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally when you hold on to a load like that. <laughs> Why didn't I just tell you that your backpack was full of blocks and bricks, you ask? That was something that you had to discover on your own when you were ready to do so. Now that you know, what are you going to do about it? Good answer. It's better to let go of what we can't change and move towards what we can. But keep the backpack and let's get up that hill. We're almost there. Take a look around. You made it. How does the cold air with the warmth of the bonfire feel on your skin? Let's take a deep breath and bask in this moment of accomplishment. That feels amazing. Now, I want you to stare into the fire. And I want you to remember how good it felt when you decided to rid yourself of those bricks and those blocks. Sometimes we pick them up along the way and don't realize it. Other times we've earned them fair and square. But there is an exchange that must be had. If you have the courage to let go of what was, you will align yourself with what can be in a world of infinite possibilities. That's right, friend. Let those tears go because they're cleansing. And they are a sign of your decision to let go of what you can no longer change. There is nothing that you can do that will ever change the past, but you can make that future better with each and every choice along the way. Your backpack is now empty. On our way back, it's your choice as to what you put in. Now close your eyes and take in the smell of a fresh new beginning. When you open them up again, we'll have you back at home safe and sound. Friend, are you there? Hi. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that you were home in your bed, and yes, you are safe. What are we going to do, you ask? Well, the crew and I decided that we'll go ahead and camp out in your living room for the night, and we'll head out first thing in the morning before you wake up. Yeah, don't worry about any visitors, messages, or, or calls. We'll handle it all. You just rest and know that you deserve it. Hey friend, just one more thing. If you ever want to go back, we'll go with you. No, no, no. Don't say goodbye. We'll see you later.